Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the new carbon fiber huggers, both rear and front, that I have for the Ducati. They're in this box here. We're going to unbox it, uh, take a look at the quality of it, because I did order it from eBay, a verified seller, but you never know what you're going to get. So we'll uh, see what the quality is. We'll compare it to what's on the bike right now, and I'll go through some of the switches, and then we'll take an overall look on the visuals that it's done to the bike. And I wanna hear your guys' opinions. Here's a quick look at the matte weave that I have for the front hugger. We're gonna take a more detailed look in this, uh, but I wanted to unbox. You can take a look at these portions here as well. You know, how that they've this is gonna be for some of the cables to run through. And we're gonna to have to see how I can get this done. But now we're gonna take a closer look at this. Uh, this is genuine carbon fiber. You can actually see the carbon fiber weave on both sides of it, um, which is good to know. And also this is it's super light. I'm gonna be very careful unwrapping this piece uh, because it's a little fragile when it's not attached uh, if you bend it the wrong way. And here's a quick look at the rear hugger for the single-sided swing arm. Um, there's something that I just did to the bike and it actually cleaned it up a lot. And I wanted to show you guys what it is. Uh, they were the vehicle stickers that go right here. that talk about the vehicle weight and all the different specs, uh, the tire pressure, um, and then on the other side as well. Um, for the emission sticker, as well as the uh, engine tuning for maintenance, all that information was on this side of the bike. I know it's stark on this side, uh, but it was all here. So what I've done is I removed these and I put them under the tail of the seat. Um, so in case I want to refer back to them, they're still there. Some advice, uh, I've tried to remove them on other bikes before and sometimes it can be difficult. This was easy. Now the bike is new, it still only has 150 miles on it. And so maybe that's why uh, the bike was only made six months ago. So the stickers haven't been on there that long. They were easy to remove, but it definitely cleaned up the look of the bike. Something super simple you can do. Now we're on to the huggers and I've put everything in position. I've already got out the uh, Allen wrench uh, here and it was a four millimeter, it looks like we're gonna use. So I wanted to show you guys the carbon fiber. Now I did this with my last bike as well, my 899. Uh, so just a carbon fiber. The carbon fiber was not the same quality as this, for sure. Uh, it was also a lot cheaper. This is genuine carbon fiber, and it's the same weave as the Ducati Performance carbon fiber, so it's a, it's a good match. It's, uh, you know, the matte version. Um, as you can see, it's really hard to tell from a distance, uh, but when you get up close, you can see the quality. And underneath, you can still see um, it is true carbon fiber versus uh, some parts that are cheaper will be a carbon fiber overlay. Now, when I did the carbon hugger at the front on my 809, it was more difficult, much more involved. So we're gonna start with the rear hugger because that's usually easy. But as you can see here, this is just, I mean, I love the quality here uh, on the carbon fiber. So I'm really excited to see what that looks like on the bike. Now I'm gonna put this camera on a tripod and uh, you know, videotape the install for a little bit. Won't bore you guys with it too much but I will talk about any challenges that I face in case you guys are trying to do the same thing. Here's the piece we're gonna be installing. As you can see, it's pretty simple. You're gonna have two bolts here at the top that correspond with these two bolts. You're going to have one on the inside to hold the chain guard. And then there's a cable here, I think it's for the brake, that there's a clip that goes in here. So we're gonna to have to figure out um, what happens there. I'm gonna start with the four millimeter bolt, uh, actually on the inside removing that one. Now they did use red thread locker on here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is red thread locker. I don't have red, I have blue, so that's what I'll be using when I put it back in, but this was not in too tight uh, at all. Now onto these top ones. This also has red thread locker on it. So I thought it was three. It looks like there's a fourth bolt on the inside that's right inside the tire um, so i'm going to try to get that one now so it should just be those four and then this is going to clip out so i figured out what that little hole is for on the hugger you guys can see it right here let me get a better angle this hole here 
that's uh, in the hugger is actually to hold just like I suspected the cable. Now it really uses just a zip tie. Luckily I had some more in my bag. So this is the same size zip tie and they make it really easy. They put a mark on the actual cable right here. It's in yellow. Hopefully you guys can see that. This yellow dot right here for the cable is exactly where it's gonna match up before I screw it in. Um, so they make this the install super easy. I'm gonna do this in the exact reverse order, which is first to install the zip tie on the cable. Make sure it's in the right spot. And hope I don't scratch uh, this carbon fiber. Now I haven't put the thread locker on. I'm just holding it in with that piece. Then I'm gonna use the thread locker on the other pieces and screw that in, lock it in tight. Now the back side is done. We'll do these two up here. Then we'll tighten up this one back here and then we'll cut the zip tie. But take a look at this. I have to clean this up a little bit. Not much different until you get close and you can actually see the carbon fiber. Um, really the only reason why I went carbon fiber is because I couldn't find regular black plastic for the front because again, um, this is not really a performance thing for me. It's more of a visual where I don't really like the look of the red front hugger. So I need to get a black one and it really was easier to find one in carbon fiber for the front and the back. So let's tackle that next. This is where the big difference is gonna come in. This looks, I mean, the bike is brand new, so it still is super red, super shiny. They have a nice clear coat on it. But I think this is gonna make it look a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more sporty, and change the profile of the bike just a little bit. Um, so I'm thrilled to put this on. Gonna remove this, I'll try to sell it, because I think a lot of uh, Street Fighter guys actually wanna go uh, with a red hugger instead of a black. Everyone wants to switch up whatever the bike comes with. We're gonna have to see how this goes on. Um, it's relatively easy as well but it can be a little bit difficult. Looks like these are also gonna be four millimeters, so the same as the rear. All right, as you can see, we got the front hugger off. Um, there's some tricks to it, so I didn't really film while I was doing it because you guys wouldn't be able to see anyway, but here's the hugger off, here's the inside of it. So this is one of the brake cables, uh, caliper cables that go to it. It's gonna be hooked inside, fairly easy to unclip. If you can see it here, you have to kind of just weave it out um, with your finger while it's still uh, attached to the bike. So you're gonna remove the four bolts uh, that were here, you know, in these spaces. And then this last one, uh, this is the last piece that you're actually going to reuse some of the pieces. Um, that's still gonna be attached to the bike. You're gonna remove the cable and then you're gonna work on this piece. Here are the pieces that you're gonna to have to reuse. This is the bolt that is attached to the rear of the front hugger, and this is a 10 millimeter hex bolt. Um, so we're gonna see how to put this on. Now, like I said, upon opening this, seeing that these are bolted down or glued in, I'm not sure how to shimmy the uh, pieces into here, the, the last cable. So I'm gonna take a look at that and see what we can do. We're in luck. It turns out that these pieces uh, actually were not all the way glued in. So you can see that I've opened them up. Uh, quite a bit so I open them up so it's easy to put the cable in and then while the this piece is attached to the bike then I'm gonna fold these back in and secure that cable so luckily I was wondering what we'd have to do And it's done. I think the carbon hugger, black hugger, matte carbon hugger really makes the bike look so much more sleek. Um, this was a change before I do anything else I wanted to see. I've got a clear clutch cover coming. I also have some decals. I wanted to make this look more like the V4R. I kind of love the red with just a small hint of silver on the exhaust, but the front hugger and carbon fiber really sets it off. So I'm really happy with this much easier than I thought. I will leave a link in the video description uh, from eBay, which seller I got this from because I was really happy with the quality of both of these pieces. Here again is the rear hugger, the matte carbon fiber fit with focus. And then of course, 
the big change in color is the front hugger. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, if you like the red better or if you like the carbon fiber better.